The performance of a metal panel is dependent on two things, the metallic coating or substrate and the paint system. Here is the anatomy of a metal panel. It all begins with a sheet of raw steel. A galvanized or galvalume coating is then applied over the raw steel. These metallic coatings are what gives the metal panel the ability to have service life and resist corrosion. The finished product is then referred to as either a galvanized or galvalume substrate. When colored products are desired, a paint system consisting of a pretreatment, primer, and top coat is applied over the galvanized or galvalume metallic coating. The difference between galvanized and galvalume substrates lies in the chemical makeup of the metallic coatings. Galvanized substrates have a 100% zinc coating, while galvalume substrates utilize an alloy of zinc plus aluminum. In both cases, the raw steel is coated in what is called a hot dip process. For galvanized substrates, the raw steel is coated in a bath of 100% zinc, while galvalume substrates are coated in a bath of zinc plus aluminum. Galvanized substrates are identified by a G rating. The G stands for galvanized and the number indicates the amount of protective zinc that is applied to the panel surface. G60 means that there is 60 ounces of zinc total both sides per every 100 square feet of material, while G100 has 100 ounces of zinc per every 100 square feet of material. These designations are very important because there is a direct and linear relationship between the amount of zinc and the rate of corrosion. G100 contains 66% more zinc than Z60 and will offer a much longer service life. If your contractor utilizes galvanized substrates, be sure to ask them the galvanized rating of the steel they are proposing for your project. Don't accept, I don't know, or it doesn't matter as an answer. In some parts of the country, galvanized substrates as low as G40 are becoming prevalent. G40 substrates simply do not have enough zinc to offer long-term or even mid-term performance. For most applications, Galvalum will provide a much longer service life than galvanized. Here are some exposure tests of the two substrates. The horizontal line is a measurement of years and the vertical line measures corrosion. Note the superior performance of Galvalum. Let's look at an actual exposure test. These are photos of bare galvanized substrates after being exposed to the elements for 18 years. The sample on the right was exposed in a moderate marine environment and the sample on the left was exposed in a rural environment. As you can see, these panels exhibit severe rust. Now these are samples of bare galvalum tested at the exact same locations. The only difference is that these photos were taken for 23 years instead of 18. As you can see, there is very little corrosion on these galvalume samples. While galvalume is an excellent choice for most applications, galvanized is still a viable option for many projects. For example, galvanized is the preferred substrate for animal confinement structures.